way too real. This way too real. Baby, you way too real. You way too real. And I can do this forever with the way that you make me feel. What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. And from the title of the video, you obviously see that we got COVID. So yeah. yeah. It's been rough. Um I just found out today Harris has had it since Wednesday. Yeah. So about three days ago. Um it sucks. It really does suck. Yeah. So the way I got it was I was taking care of my mom and when I was taking care of her, I got it and then to take care of me. And weird part is she, she you tested yourself. Like she tested herself. Yeah, like two days ago? Yeah, like two days ago. Yeah. I tested negative. Yeah. And so I didn't really start feeling anything until last night. Cause he asked me um if I wanted to take another test. I was like, eh, I feel like I'm okay. Yeah. I didn't really feel any symptoms, but then I started getting a headache. And then after the headache, I was trying to go to sleep and I could just feel like my body was just very achy. Like started in my back and then like just traveled down my legs. Like I just couldn't get comfortable. Yeah. And then I woke up this morning full sweaty, like just sweaty. And I was like, okay, something's not right. Yeah. So that's when I got the test from him and then I tested positive. Yeah, that really sucked. It's just, I didn't want her to get a sick. I don't like get her getting sick at all. Um, I'd rather like take the, take the sickness, you know, um, any day. Yeah. But she was taking care of me and I mean, she put herself in that position. She tried to keep herself, you know, away as much as you can you know, wear a mask you know having putting preventative stuff in place but um yeah i mean i just want to share like my experience with it it's our first time ever having it so like ever yeah. since like 2020 when it first came um we never got sick yeah we never got sick you know because we work from home we barely went out yeah um and we just we wore masks in the beginning mm -hmm. um and then not too long after we stopped wearing masks and we just went out and did normal stuff and um yeah i mean it was just we just never got it yeah uh so i when i felt like i started having it the weird part about it was i thought i had it like the first day of i think it was monday yeah and because i felt like my throat was like a little sore and i'm like that's weird and it wasn't going away and I fell asleep in my uh, in my office because yeah. I didn't want to get her like sick at all. Then I woke up fine, no problem, nothing. Her throat was gone, and I'm like, "Huh, that's weird." Okay. And then fast forward the next night, um, it was just like I just felt like tired and like a headache, and I was like just bleh. And woke up the next day just just achy. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, like before I got it. I went to the gym. I did chest and and abs, like core. Yeah, the and, day before you found out. Yeah, and then I also tweaked my lower back. I got a pinched nerve, mm -hmm. which it's happened before because I got a bad lower back. Yeah. And it it takes like about three or four days for it to like go away, but it still hurts after that, and it takes a couple more days for like fully recover. But it didn't help that I got COVID, and then body aches. Yeah my chest and core was already sore and then my lower back was like it was just i just could i couldn't get up comfortably i couldn't go to the bathroom comfortably i couldn't i couldn't lay comfortably i couldn't do anything like i just was just i sometimes i would sleep on the floor and i had like multiple pillows and like covers and like multiple pieces of clothing on it was just it was just so bad like the first like day it was terrible yeah. it was just like damn like i need to get through this like I, it was okay like it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be like everybody else is like oh man covid is like it's a killer man it's like it it makes you feel like you're bedridden and you can't move and this, this and that but tia was like oh it it gets everybody differently yeah. so um you know i take care of my body i eat as healthy as possible clean as possible i only drink water um i mean and, there's a reason why we've gone four years without getting it yeah <laughs> so um i feel like everyone we know has had it yeah. pretty much at least once yeah so we've been very blessed thus far 
yeah so that's basically my experience about it um it's what been this is the fourth day i think for you for me it's the fourth day um one of the nights i uh what was it the i think it was the third or no it was the third night wednesday thursday friday i think it was thursday night or friday night Mm -hmm. no i think it was thursday night actually that's that's what's crazy about it i think it was thursday night the second day um I took four ibuprofens and then I was playing a game um, and I just started getting like extremely sweaty like my my forearms and everything were like just like I just finished like I don't know playing basketball or football or going to the gym and um, I took my like long sleeve shirt off and I had just like a regular t-shirt on Mm -hmm. and I was still hot and uh, or I was still sweating it wasn't that I was hot I just was sweating yeah and I was just like that's weird and i was just like so tuned into the game so i was like i wasn't really paying attention but like i got up after the game and like my whole entire back is like just drenched like actually drenched like it left like a like a watermark on my on my chair so i had to like take that shirt off wipe myself down and then put a new shirt on um and i was like completely fine like no body aches no headache i literally felt fine maybe like a little bit of like a um like the taste was a little bit gone yeah. and my smell was still gone but that's normal from like having a flu but i um went to sleep and i woke up like two hours later and i was just a pool of sweat and i get up i remember getting up and i'm just like just i'm shaking the shivers like i was getting shivers and i was just shaking and i was like holy shit like i got i got nothing to like wipe myself down so like i just grabbed like a random shirt i found like from like like a couple clothes that i had in there i grabbed it i started wiping myself down i was just like just wiping all the sweat off and i found a a long sleeve shirt that i had um Mm -hmm. and i put that one on i think it was like a thermal and it was just i was just still shaking so i i grabbed a, a cover covered myself up walked into the hallway turned the heat on went right back in my room and got under the covers and I was just like shaking them covers until like I got warm enough and I fell asleep. Um, and then this morning actually happened, that happened again. The, uh, like the, the sweats weren't as bad. Yeah. Um, they were there for sure, but they weren't as bad. Right. So I'm thinking that's just like the, like the, my body just trying to take all that out, all the nasty, like, you know, just the sickness out of my body. That's what I'm taking it as. Hopefully it doesn't like, is it isn't a, something that's gonna last forever. Yeah. Um, because that's gonna suck but yeah i mean now at this moment um i'm better my taste and like i'm getting this like dryness in my mouth like no matter how much water i drink it's just like Mm -hmm. it goes back to dry yeah um my smell like i can smell stuff i can taste stuff taste stuff that some stuff tastes different like i just had an orange and it tastes a little bit different water tastes the same to me uh when she cooked for me i can taste her food like like it was normal but obviously it was a little off because i'm sick um so other than that like right now like i said i'm i'm good like i can you know walk around i can talk um you're not bedridden yeah i'm not bedridden like um could i go lay down and like go to sleep i probably could if i you know tried to force myself but i mean that's that's how i feel right now so one thing you did forget to mention is that how we found out that you were sick is we took his temperature oh and yeah he was at like 103 was it 103 i thought yeah, it was 101 it was 103 was it yeah damn and so i was like yeah that's when i went to cvs and i got the at-home test and i got him like a bunch of medicine and stuff and then he took the test and it was like bright red that he had it and i was like oh my gosh yeah so the difference with him is that he had a fever from the beginning and that's yeah. that's like the telltale sign that we knew that he had it yeah. and then after that your symptoms just started like flowing in but for me um we took my temperature this morning as well and i'm fine i don't even have a fever i'm at i was at like 98 point three or seven i think 9.7 i think that's like the normal that's like right there normal yeah i think like 98 is like normal number like once you get above 99 and 100 it's like uh yeah but yeah luckily i have no fever the only thing is i woke up with the sweats and then they kind of are like coming off and on yeah like throughout the day 
like I feel like I'm fine and then I feel sweaty again and then I'm fine and then I feel sweaty again so it's like besides that I don't have any fever though yeah the sweats are so annoying they the are. sweats are annoying it's just like oh like it's waking annoying. especially like being in the middle of like sleeping and then yes. like waking up and like legitimately the shirt you're wearing and the covers you have are just just sweaty mm -hmm. it's like and you can't it's it's just it's it's so un, it's just so uncomfortable because it's like you're not prepared for it right. like you just woke up yeah. so it's like that's how i was this morning i was yeah. i woke up feeling super sweaty and i was like okay this isn't normal for me so i knew something was up yeah that's why i was like yeah let me go take this test and my test this time like like for harris's test his test was bright red mine was like red but it wasn't like a bright red it was like light, a light. faint yeah. red but even if you have a faint red you have it so also i have been vaccinated before um like back when the vaccines first came out i got it because i was working as a nursing assistant at the time and so i also just wanted to get it just to you know have some type of fight in my body to fight it off if i did get it um, but he never got the vaccine. So yeah, I'm not vaccinated. Yeah, that's the only other difference I could think of why maybe he got a fever and he had chills and all those other things. I haven't had any chills. I've been sweaty off and on, but not to the point where it's drenching my clothes. Yeah. But it's just like I have also for me had a killer headache, like mm. horrible, like to the point where I like I can't even fall asleep. How bad it is. But. Besides the headache and just being a little sweaty, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and my throat has been, like, scratchy. Yeah. But, yeah, we're just praying that Aries doesn't get anything. <laughs> yeah, that's... So, that's that's where it's at. It's, like... I We looked up, like, how it would be if, like, the dog gets it. Like, they say, like, most dogs won't get it, mm -hmm. I read. And then if they do, they'll, they'll have, like, mild symptoms. Right. And we just got to take care like isolate them but like there's no isolating him you know, he, no he wants to he's him. gonna he's been sick many times with like not sick sick but like he's been having like problems with himself and he would still go play like he just wants to go outside and yeah. um that's, that's one thing all about, he cares about is yeah like just play 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 yeah. even if he knows he's not feeling well yeah he's gonna go but yeah i just pray he doesn't get anything i would be so upset yeah one thing i did notice i don't i don't want to like I want to say it but like I've noticed it I feel like I'm maybe it's just like me just being sick in general I feel like I'm being more irritated mm -hmm. like easier I don't know like maybe my look the way I look it, towards that people because um I just feel it in me like when Aries did something like when you were like playing with him outside and he would like go around and like behind me and like I was backing up mm -hmm. for like two times he did it like I would kind of feel that irritation in me like Aries move like what are you doing like and i'm just like you're probably just irritable like your yeah. body's just like you're not feeling well already yeah. you know any little thing probably just sets you off at this point yeah. but i mean for me you haven't been i haven't noticed anything yeah so but. that's basically like our experience about having covid for the first time and i just feel like it wasn't really like because tia says it's and I mean, I guess experts or whatever say it's going to be around forever. So it's, yeah. you know, or hope, hopefully it's not, but whatever. Um, we hope it's not. <laughs> yeah. They say it's going to be around forever. So like us going four years without getting it. I mean, That's like a long time. it's a long time. And I would say that at one point in time, we were bound to get it anyway. It's just the way we got it. Yeah. You know, like if we know that somebody has it. Right. We don't want to be around. Like, we wouldn't go to our friend's house, obviously. They they had it. We wouldn't be there for a while, right? right? right. Um, but if we go to, like, I don't know, to a store or do we go to a friend's house and they don't even know they have it and they... There's some, nothing you can Yeah, do there's nothing you can do about that. That, yeah. that sucks, too. But I, what I'm trying to say is, like, it's we're going to get it regardless because maybe one day when we have kids, our kids are going to go to school and mm -hmm. or go to a friend's house or whatever and they're going to touch stuff and they're going to bring it home and you know it's just it's just it's inevitable you know what i mean at one point in time we might you know you Most can be likely, lucky yeah. yeah you can be lucky and not get it but hey it is what it is so yeah we just hope that we get through this these symptoms fast quick test you know negative soon and yeah. get back to living our normal lives <laughs> because it's just been crazy lately you guys and we just wanted to come on here and explain like why you guys might not be seeing a video you know like quick or you know because we've been trying to put out a lot of videos yeah. but 
this has been been rough <laughs> yeah i just hope i don't because i've been obviously had the flu in the past and i've been sick and i had like a cold and like my nose my smell goes away my taste goes away and the, the weird part about it is and i'm not just saying this i think back in back when i was younger when i did have a flu and like did have, did have a cold cold I remember I wasn't able to taste or smell anything. Mm -hmm. Like, at least I'm able to smell and taste stuff while I have COVID. And other people say they have never gotten their taste back. Yeah. Or or they lose their taste during it and they get it back later. Um, but I just hope this actually doesn't affect it completely. And I can actually, like, go just, like, you know, live a normal life after. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, I mean, my breathing's fine. Um, yeah, breathing's been fine. Yeah. I have a little cough, but that's just, like... That's just like mucus yeah. um and i try to contain that because i don't want to get my i don't want to cough like cough up a lung and like my throat is starting to like get sore sore. up and it gets worse and worse and i keep coughing mm -hmm. and just at that point that it's just like help. yeah yeah so i try to contain it as much as i can so but, my nose has been a little bit stuffy too yeah my nose has been stuffy as well so i mean that's basically our experience about it yeah Comment down below, you guys, if what your experience was, if yeah. you have had it so far. Or if you yeah. haven't. Yeah, if you haven't, if you've been lucky. Yeah. <laughs> or any tips or advice you want to give us to help us get better quicker that it maybe work for you. Yeah. We're, we're up, open to some advice, but yeah. yeah. So smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you Soon. in the <laughs> next video. Yeah, in the next video. Hopefully we'll be back to being, you know, we'll be healthy again. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Peace.